Hello developers, welcome back to Sanyar Web YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to crop an image in a round shape or in a circle shape by using Cropper.js. Here you can see we make one live demo for you. So let's check that demo. Now here you can see you need to select your image first. Now I take one image here. Now select your image and click on crop button. By using this crop button, your image will be cropped in a round shape. Or here you can see, you can also download that image in your local PC. So when I click on that download button, here you can see your, down, your image will be downloaded. So let's check that image. So here you can see your image will be downloaded in your local PC. But if you want to upload your image on your server or on your folder. So by using this upload button, you can upload your image on your server. So let's check. So here you can see your image will be uploaded on your server successfully. But how to or where image will be uploaded? Here you can see we created one folder upload underscore images. So let's check here you can see. Now here you can see 1053. Here you can see 1053. Let's check that image. So that image also uploaded on your server. I also share this whole code or whole source code with you. So you can easily configure this code into your project. So please at least write a one comment. So I got motivated. So I hope you will like this video also. Now the most important part, how to configure this project or how to configure this cropper JS into your project. Here we will write one live demo for you. So you can see step by step or configure this demo into your project step by step. Here you can see you need to create one basic page or you need to create one file and copy paste this code into your one file, right? So here you can see we created one file like crop round image dot html. So I simply open that file. I also explained the code. So you will get an idea how to configure this. So here you can see we simply design one page like that. So here you can see we simply design this page. So by using bootstrap and some CSS or some HTML, we design this form. So here you can see we include two library CSS library like bootstrap min.css and cropper min.css. Okay. And we write some style here and the most important part is here we take one container and inside the row if you are no bootstrap framework then easy to know what is the container and row but this is for a designing purpose so you must have to use this here you can see we take one division with id display display image div and there will be display one image like a dummy image so when you See, when I refresh at that time, we display one dummy image here, right? So you can also inspect and check here will display some dummy image, right? And here you can see we take a three button like crop, download and upload that button also display here. Now. You must have to include this three library, right? jQuery min.js, bootstrap min.js and cropper min.js. This is a required library to crop your image in a round shape, right? So you must have to include this three library. Now we can also check our steps. Now 
once you simply created your file or create your web page then you must have to configure this javascript code which is required to crop your image right so here you can see we start one script tag and write it down some javascript code which is used for crop your image and everything right so here you can see in step 2 so simply you need to copy paste this code so here you can see this javascript code which is used for crop an image so let's see step by step or i will explain how to crop this image now here you can see this code will be call when you select or change your image so here you can see suppose suppose i take one image at that time suppose here you can see we take image like uh, right when i when i select an image at that time this code will be call so here you can see when you select or when you change your image at that time here you can see we pass one id here we take one input type is equal to file or here we can set one id is equal to browse image so when you change your or when you select your image at that time this function will call this code will be used for select your image and display that image into one container or one div right now here you can see how this cropper tool will be display this cropper tool how to cropper tool will be display by using this create an object here you can see we create a one object by using this cropper method so here you can see we pass one some value this is a predefined some arguments or some parameters so you must have to use this code to display your cropper tool right so by using this code you can display your cropper tool right so this is how and you must have to pass your image data inside this cropper tool so behind the uh, uh, cropper tool you can see your image so this is how your cropper tool will be display but how to crop now when you click on crop button when you click on this crop button at that time how to crop your image so here you can see when you click on this crop so here you can see button dot on click inside this button we will pass our button value so here you can see crop button and that crop button will be this okay and also you can see that crop button id like crop underscore button that crop button id will be pass here and store inside this variable now when you click on this button at that time here you can see we write some code to crop your image this is a predefined code which is i copy paste from cropper js library so you can also check cropper js here you can see here you can see the code will be available right i simply use this code into my demo so you can also configure this code but i already set some logic and everything so you must have to use my code so you, you will not uh, get any difficulty while configure this code so simply copy paste this code this code also available here so here you can see this is the same code which provided by cropper js so i simply copy paste that that code so when you click on this crop button at that time this code will be call and also here you can see this function will be call get rounded canvas 
so this function also available in a cropper js library so here you can see this function also available so i'll i i use this function here in my demo okay so so when you click on crop button at that time this code will be call and after that this function will be call so this is the most important code to crop your image right now let's see okay your image will be crop and you can also set your okay this is how this cropper js or cropper code will be work right now how to download now if you want to download this cropped image then we make one simple download function right so here you can see in a step tree in a step tree we write one function like a function and function name like download so you must have to use this so in this function simply we will get image data so here you can see we store some image data in a base64 base64 format here you can see after cropping your image that data will be stored inside this cropped image result and that uh, result will be stored inside this src src attribute so here you can see we get that base64 value and after that we will pass one file name like download.png and here you can see we create one element like a anchor tag and we'll pass inside this download link dot download and download link dot click method will be called so when you click on this download button at that time your image image will be downloaded right so here you can see our image will be download in our local pc right now the most important if you want to upload your image into your server right or into your local folder or your server folder so by using this upload button you can upload or you can use this upload function which i have created so here you can see once we get all the result it means we have a six, base64 value here you can see we get a base64 value inside this base64 data variable and we make one simple ajax call right and here you can see we create one file like crop image upload.php so here you can see we created one file like crop image upload.php right okay now you can also follow this steps so you will get idea right in a step 4 we create one function like upload and we make one file like crop image upload.php right so in this function you can see call one file like crop image upload.php and inside or in here you can see we pass some value into this image attribute right so that image attribute will use inside this file so here you can see we make one folder part or you can you need to create one folder so here you can see we created one folder here right and also you must have to remember you must have to provide a right permission suppose if you not tick this checkbox then you must have to checked and provide some right permission otherwise your image will not uploaded in your folder so you must have to provide this right permission right and here you can see we pass one image attribute which is used inside this php file so we 
explore that BH64 value because here you can see now here you can see when I click on upload button at that time we pass some BH64 value right so here you can see when I click on upload suppose when I click on this upload now here you can see we pass our base 64 value by using this inside this image attribute and that base 64 value will access inside this our php file here we write some logic to convert or decode that base 64 value and also we make one file name by using this unique function and will pass that file name and our base 64 value inside this file put contents function and once your image will upload then pass some status some message and our file name so here you can see by using this json and code we pass our response so that response will be accessed inside this success block so here you can see response dot status is equal to true it means our file will be uploaded on server so here you can see here you can see we display some message here so that message will be displayed by using this alert method and if is there any error then your image will be not uploaded alert message will display right so this is how this whole demo will work right so if you want to learn or if you want to configure into your project so here we will provide a full source code here you can see we provide or this full source code so you can download from this button so when you click on this download code then you can download this whole code so i will provide this all the file this all the file and everything inside this so you can you can download this whole code from this download button and i hope you will like this video and at least write one comment because uh, i motivate with your comments and make uh, so many video in future also so thanks for watching and keep subscribe our channel and thanks you